You know what? Maybe you were right. I think we need to start seeing other people. No, you won't. No, you won't, Brad. Not after everything. Yeah, well, I just don't believe in winning through intimidation. Unless, of course, I'm doing the intimidating. Is that so? Well, what if that dog is a coyote? You know, I can hear you. Just because I'm not an almighty dog doesn't mean my ears don't work. Anyway, why would I even want to help that little pipsqueak? You have some kind of hang up about my species, pal? Ha! <laughs> Good one, bro. Check this out. Swish! Ha <laughs> ha! Sup, Litterbug? Or should I say, love bug? You two seem to be getting pretty serious. You know, when I get serious with a lady, I like to take her someplace special. <laughs> At worst, my plan is working perfectly. I have that weak, wimpy Wimberger right where I want him. Naturally. But shut up. I'm on a wall. Ooh, I will sweep right out of Detroit and smash Wimberger. Then Chicago. Then Pittsburgh. Then Wawa Wawa Washington. Thing? Mr. Grimm, I need to ask you something. Have you seen... Uh, no. <laughs> the Mighty Thing decked by Yancey Streeters? Probably for the same reason I keep an eye on the Hulk. If Bruce hadn't had to bail my tail during that reactor explosion, he wouldn't be in his predicament. Uh, I'm sure you're the type of ladies who'd respect my privacy and my personal... Hey, thanks, dude. You really got me out of a tight spot. Uh, no. Luke Perry? Uh, okay. Well, uh, listen, thanks again. Don't you mean Beverly Hills 90210? We need light. Darkness is their ally. But no sign of the Black Dragon. Combat alert. We need backup. Are you certain this is the spot, Nightwolf? I see no evidence of the Black Dragon. Hi, Nikki. This is Thorn. She's my adopted juvie. I'm helping her readjust to freedom. Oh, Nikki, she's the best. Want to give her a spin? So, uh, how long have you known Nikki? Oh, man, you're driving the fuzzy out of that thing. In a minute, babe. I'm just reading every high school newspaper in America to see if I mention. Oh, my God. Meg Griffin, you are so sued. We don't have a choice. Everything we've worked for, that boy is here for a reason. You can control your nanites? You see, this is exactly what the architect can help us achieve. Harmony with the nanites. This boy, sorry, young man, is a miracle. A 19th century carousel. Look, there must be something I can do on the show. Please, for mom's sake. Come out, come out, whatever you are. Hello. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> Saves me an email. I have arranged to bring you a big fat wee generator and an even bigger fatter Wimberger. <laughs> Red roses that don't blush so prettily as you, Katrina. Ah, oh, no, but but are they not nearly our roses too, Katrina? And haven't I just spoken to your father about our plans? Haven't we nearly come to an understanding about our marriage?